Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to see the importance of using bis, tris and tetrahis in IUPAC nomenclature of coordination compounds. These are the prefixes which are used for the ligand with numerical prefix. Let us see with example NaCl2 P PH3 twice. So this is triphenyl phosphine. This complex contains two ligands. One is Cl2, then after that triphenyl phosphine ligand. So we go to write that first. For that, how is the triphenyl phosphine? First, let us write the phosphine structure. It is PH3. So this hydrogen is replaced by phenyl group. We will get P PH3. That means triphenyl phosphine. Triphenyl phosphine. In the name itself, you can find that there is a prefix. Tri is present. So whenever if the ligand contains already there is a numerical prefix, then we will use that bis, tris and tetrahis. So for this compound, let us write here there are two ligands. So one is Cl group. So dichlorido because it is a anionic ligands dichlorido. Then after that, if you look at this, you can see triphenyl phosphine. There are two triphenyl phosphine is there. So we go to use bis. If there are three groups, then tris. If there are four groups, we go to use tetrahis. So here there are only two groups. So we use bis. After that, the ligand which we are representing, this bis should be written inside the parenthesis. That means triphenyl phosphine. After that, here the central ion is nickel. So nickel is in the plus 2 oxidation state. Because if you look at this, this ligand PBH3, that means triphenyl phosphine is a neutral ligand which does not carry any charge. But this chloride group carries minus 1 charge. So it means nickel must carry plus 2 charge. Thanks for watching.